Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing my July favorites of this month. Now, I have been trying so much new makeup lately and I have a lot of products to talk about, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna start talking about is palettes because girl, I've got a lot of them. So the first one is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I did do like a first impressions kind of review on this palette. If you guys want to see that, I will have it linked below. But this palette, you guys, it just works so beautifully. The colors are gorgeous and I just, I really enjoy this palette. I think you can do so much with this. So really, really enjoyed that this month. Now the next palette is another palette that I tried this month and it is the Milani Gilded Desires palette. Now this palette is just gorgeous you guys. It has just beautiful neutral shades in there. The shimmers in there are really really beautiful and the highlights you guys amazing. Like they are seriously so so blinding and just all over a very very good palette and it's also a great everyday palette. The next palette I have is not like that new but Still kind of new to ColourPop. I mean, they're always coming out with new stuff, so. But it is the Give It To Me Straight palette. Now, let me just like show you guys what this looks like. Oh, are those like not just gorgeous shades in there? So when I'm not using those other palettes, I have been using this palette this month, and I just love the shades in here. The shimmers, you guys are just amazing. They're just really, really beautiful shimmer shades. You truly cannot go wrong with a ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I highly recommend pretty much any of them to you. <laughs> so the next two, I kind of want to give an honorable mention to them because I have not been using them very much, but first one is the Norvina palette. Now I just reviewed this one as well if you guys want to watch that. And I really like this palette. I just thought it was such a beautiful palette to have. It has, you know, neutral shades in there if you still want to go for a neutral look but it also has just oh, these beautiful shimmer shades up here so I've really been enjoying this since I reviewed it my next honorable mention goes to the flower beauty uh, wanderlust eyeshadow palettes these are so good you guys like like I said in the in my past video I don't really hear anyone talk about Flower Beauty and they have some really really great products you guys so I definitely recommend giving their line a try and definitely trying out the eyeshadows because I loved the way that these performed I thought that they performed so nicely and so easily blendable and pigmented and I really enjoyed these the next palette I have is a highlighting palette and again I just use this in like a first impressions and it's the Makeup Revolution Soph X highlighter it's the highlighter I'm wearing today it's just a really really beautiful highlighter it's oh my god it's so blinding and this was only $12 you guys and it has eight shades in there and it's gorgeous that's that's pretty much all I can say it's beautiful blinding and amazing so you need it next I'm gonna go ahead and talk about a few eye products so I tried out um, essence I picked up a few of their items this month and I really really enjoyed the essence super last matte black liner it has a really nice um, eyeliner tip to it I really like it it seems like kind of long but I feel like it's really really precise and I definitely like it a lot more than my NYC liquid liner so I really recommend giving this a try I want to say it was like $3.99 so four dollars you guys for an eyeliner and that's what I'm wearing today I don't find it that it like transfers on the lid or anything like that so you know such a good eyeliner for such a good price so I definitely recommend it okay the next two things I have for eyes are also from Essence and it is their metal shock shadows so I actually have the um, this one what is this in the shade I have the gold one okay this one is in solar explosion so these are basically just like a super super intense uh, sh like shimmer shadow look at that you guys it's just it's so intense and beautiful that's what I have on my eyes today love them again I don't feel like I see them like transferring or anything like that just such a good product and I also got the shade stars and stories I'll go ahead and swatch that as well for you guys it's kind of like a plummy pinky purpley shade and 
gosh, you guys, they're just so beautiful. So here is Stars and Stories right here. Just super, super pretty. And again, Essence is so affordable. I wanna say they were like four bucks each. So definitely recommend trying these out if you like intense, you know, liquid shimmery shadows because I do, I love them. They're so easy, just pop them on and good to go. So these products I did test out this month and it's one of the ColourPop Press Powder Bronzers. And this is in the shade Afternoon Delight. Really, really pretty color. I really like it. It's what I'm wearing today. And I just really like the formula on this. I think I thought it was great. And the next one I have is the Flower Beauty Blush in Sweet Pea. Look at this shade. Isn't it just so beautiful? Ugh, I love this color. It's just like the perfect mid-tone, like mauvey rose. Ugh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Formula is great, blends out nicely, and has really, really great pigmentation to it, so I really recommend their blushes. So lastly, I have a bunch of face products that I tried this month, and first I just wanna kinda mention this one and get it out of the way. It's the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I put this in my last month's favorites, and I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still loving this. I it, I think it's such a great concealer, and it's only $7, you guys, so definitely give it a try. Next concealer I have is the new Too Faced Born This Way. Super coverage sculpting concealer this concealer you guys is amazing I really highly recommend it I think it's so so good blends out beautifully like it just looks so beautiful underneath the eyes as well and it does not like cake up and get into my creases underneath my eyes so I really really enjoy this and really recommend it now quickly I just wanted to mention the makeup revolution foundation stick now I used this for the first time in one of my last videos so again just kind of giving it an honorable mention but it was so good it looked so healthy and nice it had that luminous dewy finish and I thought it worked really well with my skin type even though I'm oily and it was a dewy foundation like I still felt like it looked really good and held up pretty well on my skin all day so I really really enjoyed this and just wanted to quickly mention it now I have setting powders and you guys know I tried out two new setting powders this month and it was the Huda Beauty uh, loose baking powder and it is amazing you guys if you have oil skin you have to try out this setting powder it kept me from getting oily all day like I literally did not even look oily at the end of the day when I tried this out so I really really recommend it the only cons to it is that I really really don't like the little sifter that's in there it's kind of hard to get product out and the smell as well is quite um, potent it's very very strong and if you're sensitive to smells then I I honestly don't recommend it because it is quite strong but if you're not too sensitive to smells and you have oily skin I really do recommend that otherwise if you're um, dry skin or sensitive to smells I don't recommend it now the next one I did not have any of those kinds of issues with but it is the ColourPop no filter setting powder and this is a really good setting powder you guys I really really like it the only thing I don't like is that it is very very tiny so it's kind of hard to dip your beauty blender in there but nonetheless it's a great powder and I really really like it all right you guys so those were all my hits for the month of July now I quickly just kind of want to mention a few things that were kind of misses for me so first off was the wander beauty unlashed mascara now I tried this in a it was a uh, this month's boxy charm and you know what like it was okay I'll use it again but it's just kind of like a thin formula and it just didn't build up my lashes and give it that volume that I needed so for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and say this one was a miss so the next things I have were actually featured in my last video so I have come to the conclusion with the ColourPop no filter foundation that I just don't like it you guys it just sinks into my fine lines and kind of like makes me look a little bit more aged than I actually do and it kind of like ends up looking cakey and I've just come to the conclusion that I don't like it and I like other foundations much much better so unfortunately this was a miss for me now also I have come to the realization with the ColourPop no filter concealer that I don't like this as well now that I have tried such amazing concealers like the makeup revolution or the born this way concealer 
I've like just totally realized that this one just isn't as good as I'd hoped it be. Like the foundation, it also does crease pretty heavily underneath the eyes. And before that never really bothered me because I felt like all concealers did that, but now that I've found concealers that actually don't do that, I've definitely come to the realization that I just, you know, there's better concealers out there. So I'm really sad to say that both of these were kind of a dud. I will still be using these products, but probably only for occasions where I'm only going out for like, a, you know, a couple hours or so. That way I don't like waste the products and I still use them. But I just wanted to let you guys know that there are just better concealers and foundations out there. For example, ColourPop is $6, Makeup Revolution is $7, so I think it's worth the extra dollar to go with the Makeup Revolution. It doesn't crease under the eyes and it has really good coverage. And as for foundation, this is $12 and I feel like you can find cheaper foundations at the drugstore that work really, really well and don't get stuck in like fine lines or creases or anything like that. So the last two things are the All Star Setting Spray and Primer. Now, you might be wondering why I have a purple spray on this one. This is actually the spray from the Urban Decay All Nighter and this spray is just so much better than and the spray that comes with it. If you saw my last videos, I did mention that the original spray is just so aggressive and it just kind of sprays too much all at once. But with this spray on there, it makes it a much more pleasant experience. So the reason I wanted to put these in here is that I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence about both of them. Now they definitely have their pros to them because I really like the setting spray because I felt like it helps kind of melt everything into the skin and not look so matte and cakey, you know? So I really like it for that reason. However, I didn't feel like it, you know, made my foundation last any longer or anything like that. And it does claim to be a matte setting spray. So for that reason, I don't really like it because if you're looking for a good matte setting spray, then this is not the setting spray for you. Now, again, I have the same issue with the primer. It claims to be a matte and blurring primer. It did not keep me matte throughout the day. I did do a wear test on both of those just to test them out and they both didn't keep me matte. I still got just as oily with both of them. So I didn't like it for that reason. However, I did feel like it blurred out the pores quite nicely. So you guys can see kind of where I have my uncertainty about both of them. Like I like them, but I feel like their claims for them are kind of false. So for that reason, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know that it doesn't keep you matte, but there are good things about these products and overall, I do like them so I just kind of wanted to clarify that with you guys and let you guys know my thoughts on them of course I'm gonna to continue to keep using them and testing them out and updating you guys but for now those are my thoughts on those products so yeah those are all the products I've been loving this month the hits the misses everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more of my videos and also I would really appreciate it if you guys could turn on those post notifications that way you're notified of every video that I upload I do try to upload frequently Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays so be on the lookout for those every week other than that that is it for this video love you guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye